the delay activity. So we will see how to use and delay activity inside a new app. So let's get started. Please do subscribe to the channel and please give a thumbs up. Thank you. Let's get started. So first thing is I'll create a new sequence and I will give it a name as delay demo. Click on create. All right. And then go to the activities panel and here you need to type delay. Now let's understand, uh, I mean, with the name delay, uh, it is very clear, right? What What is that activity is all about? So let's see that where all we have to use this activity and how handy this would be. So delay, basically when you drag and drop on the properties panel, you have the duration. So how much time of delay you would like to give? So, uh, right, so let me give you an example. Let's say I'm opening a site um, in, uh, let's say Internet Explorer or Google Chrome. Um, there are many chances that the site may load quite late, right? And you would like to log into that site using the bot. Uh, now what is happening, the site is not loading, right? And the bot would just function from top to bottom as you have designed and it will not find, it will give you an error, right? So how do you rectify those kind of errors is by delay activity. As you know, you can optimize the time depending on the environment you'll be using. Okay, so let's let's just see how to use that. So for this, uh, so I'll give you two different demo. One is uh, let me show you uh, how the delay function. Then we will go to the real example of a website. Okay, so here what I'm going to do, I will write a vb dot method dot now. Okay, so what is this is all about? Date now is nothing but just going to show you uh, the current date and time. Okay, and here. I'm going to copy it. So there is a delay I will give in between. So just copy this, Control B, and below this I'm going to keep it. So what would happen? Whatever timing is been shown on the first message box, and there'll be a delay, and then it's going to show the next. So what I'm going to do here is in the delay I'm going to mention some time. So let's say the format is this is R00. 00. 00 is your minutes, and seconds is nothing but ten. Let's say I'm giving 10 as an example. So 10 seconds I've given. So after 10 seconds, this is supposed to get the time for me, right? So let's see that. I'm going to save it, I'm going to run it. Okay, so now I can just uh, see that it's 55, right? 17, 4, 55, I'll click on okay. After that, it is going to give me a 10 seconds delay. Okay, so now it has come the next one, right? After the 10 second delay, and I was speaking in between. So put together until you click on okay. After that, you count for 10 seconds. So you understood how the delay function works. Now let's take a real time example, okay? So the real time example would be, let's say opening a browser right where you will find a delay or opening an application you will find delay right so all those things you can optimize depending on the environment you are in so certain uh, environment where the time would be 10 seconds and there will be certain environments where it might be even more or less so you need to optimize it to understand what environment you are in and need to use a you know optimized delay timing that is something comes from the experience of the environment so let's see that so the first thing I'm going to do is I'll use the open uh, browser, okay, open browser, and here I'm going to open. Um, so generally I have seen when I go back. Uh, so I'll use a website called Acme Test UiPath.com, okay. So if you see that it's taking certain amount of uh, you know delay to launch it, right? Now, if you go back and use Internet Explorer, let me open an Internet Explorer and see. And every browser has its own way uh, of delay. So let's see that in Internet Explorer, how much time does this take, and we'll optimize accordingly. Okay. And if you ask me a question, how do I know the perfect time? That doesn't have to be a perfect time. You have to go with the optimized time. What what looks better? So. It, you will get to know by you know experimenting several times okay so here if i say acmetest.uipad.com in the internet explorer you can see that the page is actually taking a lot of time right so let's say acmetest.uipad.com okay so i'm using that 
the same website. Now you can see that there's a good amount of a delay in Internet Explorer. So let, let's optimize that and see using a delay function. How do you do that? For me, first thing is I'll copy this URL. Okay. And go back to my UI paths. And here I'm going to put a double quote. And inside the double quote, I'm going to mention it. Okay. Now here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a delay activity. Okay, now in the, I'll give a delay. Let's say uh, I experience a delay of let's say, let's I'll put the maximum one which is a five second delay, right? So this is zero five. All right. So there is a five second delay which I have mentioned. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to enter let's say the username. All right. So I'll say type into. Okay. So here I'm using type into and click on indicate element and here it's supposed to enter the uh, type into. So this is the area which it's supposed to enter. Okay. So I'm going to select this. I can see. And here let's say I'm going to type in type in the email address. Practice.kdot at the rate. Okay, so I'm using this uh, email address. So let's see that how it runs. So now what is happening by default when you say open browser, by default it will open in Internet Explorer. Okay, so you can see that there's a good amount of delay. So I have given uh, you are not connected to network. Okay, give me a second. Looks like uh, there was a power outage. So let me run it again. Let me stop this. Okay, it's in the debug mode, and I will run it again. Okay. So if you, I was saying in the open browser, if you see by default, if you're not selecting anything, it will take the IE as a default browser. So let's see that. So I have given a five second delay in between. So let's see that. Okay. All right. So now after waiting for five seconds. It is going to enter the email address. Okay, so this is where you'll be using uh, the delay activity. Okay, this is how you'll be using the delay activity. So I hope the example is clear. And uh, in case you want to do it in Google Chrome, let's say, so all you have to do open browser, and here you can select let's say Chrome. So if I run it now, it is going to wait, do the same job, but it will open the browser in Chrome. So I'll save it and run it. Okay, now it's opening in Google Chrome. Okay, you can see there's a delay. All right, so it waited for five seconds, and uh, you know it entered the email address over here automatically. So this is how you'll be utilizing the delay activity in UI path. Okay, this is very very useful because many times depending on the system and environment, there will be a lot of delay, and the maximum delay could happen probably that could be the number you can optimize by putting that time seconds or minutes whatever time it takes you know you need to experiment a lot of lot many times with multiple uses and find out the you know perfect time that can be added as a delay okay this is not something a problem um, but again depending on the system the load time is always different from varies from system to system so putting the maximum delay time is what works best inside a project so thank you guys for watching this video uh, please do like and subscribe that keeps motivating the channel and a lot of work that has been done uh, please do do not forget to click on the like button thank you friends have a wonderful day